In today's news headlines, the police have seized a dangerous tool along with accessories in Hermitage. No one was arrested in connection with the seizure of the dangerous items. The police have reported that they seized an illegal dangerous tool along with accessories during an operation in the Hermitage community in St. Andrew on Sunday. The police have mentioned that they were conducting a cordon and search operation in the area when a premises was searched and the dangerous tool was found. The tool was identified as a Taurus 9mm with 17 9mm accessories. So far, no one was arrested in connection with the seizure. The police are continuing their investigations into this matter. In other news, a conflagration at the Alexandra Police Station has resulted in the relocation of the dangerous individuals being housed at the location. Ten dangerous individuals who are being held at the Alexandra Police Station in Sinan have been relocated following a conflagration on Monday evening. The incident occurred close to 7 p.m. on Monday. The conflagration is suspected to have been started by the dangerous individuals. However, it was confined to one cell at the station. No one was visibly hurt and there was minimal damage to the building. The dangerous individuals are now being housed at the Ocherias Police Station. The police have also seized an illegal dangerous tool in the parish of Senan. The police have reported that the seizure of an illegal dangerous tool was done in Parrytown in Senan. No one was arrested in connection with the seizure. The police are reporting that on Saturday, several premises and open lots in the area were searched. They mentioned that a Glock dangerous tool with accessories was found under a refrigerator in an open lot. The investigation continues into this discovery. The opposition is urging the government to increase police presence in dangerous activity plagued areas of Clarendon. The call followed for loss of lives in Havana Heights in the parish shortly after midnight on Sunday. The individuals who passed away include Tashana and Sharona, their 19-year-old nephew Luke Newman, and Sharona's partner Michael Solomon. The leader of the opposition and president of the People's National Party, Mark Golden, along with other members of the PNP, joined Member of Parliament for Southwestern Clarendon, Luth and Cousins, on a visit to the family home where the loss of lives occurred. Golden mentioned that Jamaica is in the worst of times, citing the pandemic, the high cost of living, and the dangerous activity rate. He called for the police to increase their presence in the area. He further went on to state that we are calling for the Minister of National Security and the Commissioner of Police to ensure that there is adequate security in this community because this situation is one in a series that has taken place but represents a serious escalation and a change to the nature of the dangerous activity in the vicinity. And it needs to be contained now so that the community can be freed of further trauma and further grief. Golden further went on to criticize the leadership of Prime Minister Andrew Holness and the government's handling of the country's dangerous activity problem. It was further mentioned that it is unfortunate that such an act was carried out during a national curfew. It is quite unfortunate that incidents of this nature are happening when we are supposed to have increased police presence in the spaces due to the fact that there is a curfew and the All Island curfew would have started minutes earlier. PNP Senate and former Minister of National Security Bunting said that he was shaken by this serious incident. He says as a former Minister of National Security, he has seen many loss of lives scenes, but it is few that has struck him as so serious as this scene they have seen in Clarendon. According to Bunting, residents lamented that the police were late on the scene despite there being two police stations nearby. He says that he's very disappointed that in a time when the entire country is on no movement, when the community and parish have been on curfew from 6 p.m., 
the previous evening and in a community where there have been flare-ups of dangerous activities in the recent past that there was no regular presence of the security forces that could have helped to deter an incident of this nature. As of September 4th, Clarendon has recorded a total of 63 loss of lives, the same figure for the corresponding period in 2020. Shellings, however, have declined by 4% from 49 to 45. In further news, Tropical Storm Nicholas strengthened just off the Gulf Coast and could go ashore in Texas as a hurricane as it brings heavy rain and floods to coastal areas from Mexico to Louisiana. It was mentioned that the tropical storm had top-sustained winds reaching up to 60 miles per hour. It was traveling north-northwest at 5 miles on a forecast track to pass near the South Texas coast, then move on shore along the coast of South or Central Texas by Monday evening. Several schools in the Houston and Galveston area were closed on Monday because of the incoming storm. Nicholas was centered roughly 40 miles southeast of the mouth of the Rio Grande River and 210 miles south of Port O'Connor in Texas as of Monday morning. The storm was moving erratically just offshore of the northeastern coast of Mexico. A hurricane watch was issued from Port Aransas to Freeport in Texas. Much of the state's coastline was under a tropical storm warning as the system was expected to bring heavy rains that could cause flash floods and urban flooding. Rainfall totals of 8 to 16 inches were expected along the middle and upper Texas coast, with isolated maximum amounts of 20 inches being possible. Other parts of Texas and southwest Louisiana could see 5 to 10 inches of rain over the coming days. Nicholas is headed towards the same area of Texas that was hit by Hurricane Harvey in 2017. The storm made landfall in the middle of Texas, then stalled for four days, dropping more than 60 inches of rain in parts of southeast Texas. Harvey was blamed for at least 68 loss of lives. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.